Is this working? No, this isn't working. Right, okay. It's working now, <laughs> I think. Uh, please let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. I'm just going to refresh the chat, uh, which I haven't been able to fix yet. I have spent another half hour trying to fix it and thought I'd fixed it and then didn't. Um, the other thing that's just broken this morning is my stream deck hasn't broken. So I was there watching the countdown and then as soon as it finished, I pressed the button and my stream deck seems to have malfunctioned. So yeah, stream deck's not working. Um, brilliant. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, we are part seven of my Shadowrun Returns playthrough. Going to be playing for about uh, an hour and a half today or so. Uh, and I'm hoping that this is actually going to finish this game this week. I think I've got a couple of sessions left uh, and, and we will see. So with my setup that I now have, I should be able to see the chat whilst also playing. Hopefully on one screen. Uh, I'm not running the game full screen. I've actually shrunk the game size down. So that I can uh, I can see the chat there. So yeah, Ian's here, Brett's here, Peter's here. Fantastic. Right, let's continue and see where we left off. I can't quite remember exactly where. We've gone back to the union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than, uh, than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. Oh yeah, the bugs. Yeah, I remember now. Um, but she is. And if you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Yeah, so we went to this, um, uh, like, mental hospital, I think. And that's where we found that guy. But then we went somewhere else. We went to the Universal Brotherhood. That was it. And there was all these big giant bugs that was a bit of a, bit of a surprise. Because before that, everything sounded great. All belonging, and they're all for all races, and it all sounded really good. Um, but then all of a sudden... Giant bugs came out and attacked us. So, let's have a look at what we're doing. Let's speak to Coyote. Now, Coyote came with us last time. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low, shaky. What the hell was that back there, woman? Just what the frag was that? Uh, so, bugs, giant fragging bugs. Yes. Uh, and Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there is no way I'd believe it. Giant unkillable bugs. Yes. Yeah, a bit weird. Um, she shudders, shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around, locked and loaded. Uh, if you go after her again, I'll think of you. Okay. Right, so she's not coming with us next time, is she not? Let's speak to Cherry. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers when she catches a glimpse of you. She gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Sharp Tooth, what's going on? Uh, we need to talk about Shane. I remember Shane. I mean, obviously he's dead. Hmm, I think we found his body. What about Shane? Uh, it's not good, Cherry. He looks you in the eye. Just tell it to me straight, Sharptooth. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead, and I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous, but I thought you should know. Uh, so that was the, ob uh, yeah, side objective. My god, Shane. She looks at her customers, then down at the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. Uh, she continues processing the information. Then she remembers something. Oh, hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Johnny Clean freaked out? Okay, we'll talk to him. Yeah, that would be Wizard. Okay, right, let's go and speak to... Should we speak to this John guy? I don't know who this is. John Bartlett. Full of life, with a quick smile, the man tilts his head and watches you approach. Hey lady, what's shaking? Uh, I got something that might rock your world, if you've got time. Okay, well let's let's see what he's got. You ever hear of the Nephilim Network? How do you pronounce it? Nephilim? Nephilim Network. Of course you have. An in-the-know lady like you has to have heard of the premier Merc team out there. Uh, we're a tight unit. We cost a bit more than the common rabble, but we're worth it. Right. And because I'm watching the YouTube chat on the right and the game on the left, I won't know if the chat has broken on screen. So if it does, please let me know if the chat breaks on screen. Um, yeah, and feel free to use the chat window to chat with each other about anything you want to, really. You don't have to, but yeah, you're more than welcome to use it as a, ge as a general chat room and I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, because there's not going to be much engagement with me during this. It's not going to be that interactive, really. 
So who's this? Mr. Johnson. I can't remember who these people are. Uh, the man sizes you up as you approach. His carefully groomed hair and the shine on his shoes seem out of place for the barons. Hey, you looking for work? I got a little something if you're up for it. It's a milk run. Okay, we can we can do this. It's maybe a side quest thing. Uh, he grins, exposing a set of unnaturally white teeth. Wavy. The job is a simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Renraku. Which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. So we'll say you want me to kidnap him for you. He flashes his pearly whites again. Exactly. But it has to be now. Renraku's shipping Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight he's being kept as a, at a hidden research facility out there in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now, thinking that nobody notices. Okay. Just check my screen is at the right angle. Is this going to work? There we go. Right. Need to be need to be there. Let's just move the screen around. Too much. There you go. Right. We're all sorted. Um. Right. The place should be lightly guarded. Probably renter cops. Get in, grab Sada, and get out. In exchange, I'm authorizing to remit nine thousand new yen in payment. He fixes you with a hard stare. I am not, however, authorized to negotiate. Okay, say, so we'll say yes, why not? So maybe we won't finish this this week, <laughs> if this is a side mission that's going to take us today. Uh, yeah, so talk to Mr. Delilah to hire runners. I'll send the lab's location to your PDA. Hire a team and head there right away. Liberate Sada and deliver him to my employers. They'll have a car waiting outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sada on, once Mr. Sada's on his way, meet me back here for payment. Okay. Let's speak to Bobby. Can't remember who Bobby is. Uh, yo, lady, have we met? You look familiar. I meet a lot of people, no problem. You need some brain benders tonight? I got some of that Merc stuff, freakers, taxi drivers, you know. I guess this is drugs time to think. Yeah, not bothered with that. Uh, right, so let's go downstairs and speak to Johnny Clean and also Mr. Delilah. Which one was Mr. Delilah? Can't remember which one Mr. Delilah was. <laughs> Maybe that was downstairs as well. Right, here we go. So this is Mr. Delilah. Here we go. Uh, you need runners again. Yes, I need to put together a team for a Renraku lab. Right, here we go. So we can hire all of these people again. We only have 434 new yen. Now that is not enough. I thought he was going to give us 9,000. Or is that 9,000 after the job's been done? Oh dear. Right. So, we have a problem here. Yeah, the new yen should be useful for the for the final showdown. It should. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get paid until after we've done the job. Which makes sense, to be honest. But, I'm doing this run and I have no... Yeah, I have no money. So, <laughs> I don't think I can do this job. Never mind. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Right, let's uh, speak to Johnny Clean. Ooh. Oh no, I thought we were going to go into the Matrix again then. Uh, yeah, no side quest to make a little cash. There isn't that many side quests. I mean, that there was a side quest to make cash. Unfortunately, I need cash to do it, really. Johnny is hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with a cyber deck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, eyes narrowed. Been making new friends out there. Uh, rescued a teenage elf girl from some evil cultists. I think that's what we did. Uh, some guy named Baron Samedi wants to talk to me in the Matrix. Ah, yeah, that was it. Let's do that. Yeah, Baron Samedi sent us a message and said meet him in the Matrix. So, sounds like you two have already met then. He frowns. Well, this Baron, he's been asking about you on Shadowlands. Strange guy. He has a pretty distinctive icon. A skull face with a top hat. Top hat, one word? Or two words? I thought the top hat was two words. Anyway. I can't tell you what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this if I were you. Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they're so inclined. Right. Let's ask him about this Baron character. Johnny's janitor persona is gone, replaced by something colder, more dangerous. I did some checking, but didn't get much because he's new on the scene. 
He's no Wilson, though. Got a rep as a direct hot wire boy, from what I hear. Never rides along with physical entry teams, though. Purely remote work. Uh, Samedi. Baron Samedi is the name of a lower, or Haitian voodoo spirit. He sits at the crossroads of the living and the dead. Never heard of Spirit in the Matrix. I've been around a long time and I've seen a lot of avatars running around the tricks. A lot of them. You ask me, it's just some guy trying to look scary to make a name for himself. Think of it as a personal branding. Uh, we'll ask him about the bugs. <laughs> Whatever it is you've gotten into, Sharptooth, you're in it deep. From what I hear, the Brotherhood has members in high places. Government, corps, law enforcement. You be careful, Chummer. Well, say what is Shadowlands. That's where the Shadow community goes to talk about anything shadowy. Who's planning what projects, who's hiring, which corp is screwing which, anything that affects Shadow Runners and how they make money. It's where I'd go uh, to see if I could pick up any dirt about you. Okay, I'll say we need to talk to the Baron. Okay, you can use my secure jack point. I've already set up a, a portal to Shadowlands. Feel free to jack in when you're ready. Okay, well, let's do that now. And we don't have any money to buy any extra tool stuff, so let's just go into the Matrix. Okay, so we're going to go in. We've got this deck. Uh, that Oh, no, that's Johnny's. Yeah, I think that's Johnny's deck. Uh, and that's all we've got. We have almost nothing else. <laughs> oh, dear. Andrew's here in the chat. Hi, Andrew. Thank you for joining in. We're about to hack into the Matrix. So, Baron Samedi. Bonsoir, mon ami. I am pleased that we can have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. Cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. So, uh, say that. Samedi wishes to thank you for saving Marie-Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm were to come to her, he does not know what he would do. He also offers you his help. The insects you encountered, they are something, no? Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There is much at stake. Samedi knows you are after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get to this woman and defeat her bugs. The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward, but Samedi can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on the formula codenamed Aegis. They are working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right, and they believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the ones you met at the Bro Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watts woman to justice, you'll need Aegis. As it happens, Samedi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence, the job at hand. We are going to break into the Telestrian Industries' primary operations office complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within that building. We will find the Aegis sample and liberate it for ourselves. Okay. Or saying, how do you know all of this? Because Samedi has personal connections into James Telestrian's affairs. You see, he knows. Um, oh, lots of choices. We'll say that one. There are giant insects nesting beneath Seattle. They cannot be killed. Do you know what insects do better than anything? They multiply and they consume. Okay, so we didn't like that. But if that does not sway you, then perhaps you must be spoken to in a different language. Samedi is a technomancer. He turns thought into reality. Complete this operation and he will transfer 50,000 new yen into the account of your choosing. ka -ching! Buy some more board games with that. You are a mercenary and mercenaries get paid. Yes, now will you do it? Okay, we'll say yes. Uh, you have the heart of a true mercenary. There is a purity in that, I suppose. Excellent. So glad you have seen reason. The Baron is transferring a portion of your fee to your account now to help you assemble your team. Oh, we got 8,000 new yen. That means we can go and do the other job. Um, the rest will be payable upon successful retrieval of the sample. Telestrian keeps Project Aegis information on a private local network. It cannot be accessed from the outside through the matrix. You must jack into it from within the office complex. Right, okay. 
So Mehdi will be part of this evening's events, but must remain remote. He will keep all of Seattle, Seattle law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away while you locate the information we need from inside. The storyline in this is really good. And the narrative's good. I think the writing's good. Um, I'll say that one. Ah, the Baron will handle that as well. Telestrian guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you're there. But of course, even Baron Samedi cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight, you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel to the Telestrian office complex downtown. You will be contacted again when you have gained entrance. Right, so we've got two jobs to do tonight. So that was it. That, that was it in the Matrix. This, this, these graphics are really nice. Yeah, I like the way it all looks. Right, there we go. Uh, holy crap. Telestrian Industries, you've hit the big time, chum. If you need a second decker, you might as well take one of the best. Is you, right? Uh, no, I'm not an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's an elf who owes me a favour. He goes by the by Dodger. You may have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle. And this is me saying it. I'll get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. Like he's in a damn Charles Dickens novel. Right. Okay, so now we've got 8,000. We can now go and do the other sneaky, sneaky quest first. Which was... Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to put a team together to hit the Telestrian office or the Renraku lab. Let's do the Renraku lab. As we said, we are going to do that one. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to spend. Probably don't want to spend too much. Uh, and these, these ones are just really expensive, but I think they're a lot better. I don't know. Who's this one? Silon Sirecht. Combat Adept. I don't know who this is, but let's let's take this person. They're they're, they're cheap. Um, maybe we should take somebody who's quite expensive. Um, I assume the more expensive they are, the better they are. Yeah, we'll take this guy, and then we'll take somebody cheap from here. We'll take Coyote with us again. Right. Okay. So, head to the Run Raku lab to do the Johnson's Run. Yes. Right, okay. So, we'll do that first. Corporate Extraction. You leave Touristville behind and make your way into the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that still exists falls away, taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, and even media influence disappears, leaving an urban, feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet, hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Computer Systems has hidden some sort of R&D research lab, probably to take advantage of some old tech left after the, Shua, after the Shiawasi nuclear power plant meltdown or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab. The place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you. No security systems are online greet you. Yeah, there's a word missing there. Just the ones made of meat. Maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. Okay, so uh, it's taking stuff with us. Well, we can take a basic med kit. Um, so who else is likely to get hit a lot? Um, where's the guy with the weapon? Him. Yeah, but he's going to be staying at range. Okay, I think that'll do. Right, off we go then. He says. There we go, right. Oh, you have karma to spend. Let's spend some karma. We have 24? Wow. Okay, we must have got loads of this from last time. So we can definitely... Definitely increase our stuff. Class S drones. Yeah, we, we should try and get a better drone for... Uh, for, for the final sort of battle thing. Right, okay, so where are we? We're going to up our ranged combat. Which I think will increase our chance to hit. That spent six of it. Uh, which means we can increase our rifle. Uh, we don't really want to bother with any of that. 
Yeah, so we can do we can do that and we can do that. Okay, there we go. We've spent some spent some points. So are we in combat mode already? I think we are. So why is it not letting me go first? Here we go. Um can't find better drones until you unlock them, so get drone control. Oh right, okay, yeah, I don't know where you get the better drones from. Um but we will see. Right, so it's me first, and I'm going to... Um, now, is... Because I've resized my screen, is everything showing on screen? It kind of is. It is for you, but it's not really for me. No, I don't think it is in combat. Oh, no, it is. There we go. Right, so I need to... Uh, okay, this is a bit tricky... I've resized the screen, but actually it's, yeah, it's a bit off the bottom of the screen for me. So bear with a minute, I just need to um, sort out hiding my taskbar, because that's, that's getting in the way. <laughs> I'll work out how I hide my taskbar. Taskbar settings, here we go. Uh, hide the taskbar in desktop mode, hide the taskbar in tablet mode. I think I've ever done this before, but let's do it. Let's hide the taskbar. There we go. Right, that's better. So, we are going to turn my drone on. There we go. And then, I don't know which way to go, but I'm going to go this way. Right. So... Can't attack him. I guess line of sight's broken. No, it's not letting me attack him. I'm not sure why. Let's rush in here. Let's just rush around like a crazy person. Right, uh, okay, so I've still got one left. In here. Right, so who's this person here? Got spells. Lots of spells. Should have just taken simple characters, shouldn't I? Okay, well let's cast this spell. Why not? Can only cast it on ourselves. <laughs> okay. Drones are us for the best price. Yes. Uh, so two left. Go in here and can actually shoot. Missed. Right. Okay. Next. Go with the big gun. And then coyote. Now what's coyote got? He's got. Ensfield AS7. That is. Uh, she's going to get up close and personal, I think. <laughs> Ugh, missed. Cardboard box got in the way. Right, and still the drone. The drone can have a shot. Well, at least the drone hit. Uh oh. Grenade! Right. Okay, so sharp tooth's in the wrong place. <laughs> right, we need to get in there, sharp tooth. There we go. Right, let's have a shot at these. Uh, oh, I should be selecting different types of attack, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's select that one. Oh, these guys have got a lot of hit points. Right, here's the guy. Now he's got all of this sort of stuff. Try that. Okay, so that's knocked one AP off him, which is pretty good. Right, Coyote's next. I think we're going to have to go for this guy. Thought I was going to go for that guy, and then we went for the other guy. There we go. Got him. And that one. Nice. Nicely done. The drone is going to shoot the Lone Star Guard. And again. Nope. And that's it. Any more bad guys coming out? 
No, I don't think there is. Right, sharp tooth's gonna go around here and say, hello, mate. Oh, I missed it. Grenades. Oh yes, I do have grenades, don't I? Oops. Again, because I've got it on the easy setting, I'm kind of not thinking too much about this. Oh, this is rubbish. Let's do a reload. There you go. 40 damage. Critical. And uh, let's do a reload as well. So I think this is where we go next. Yeah, I don't think we can get through this door here. Need to select weapon, not sharp tooth. Okay. Uh, the drone. I think the drone's just going to go in here, isn't it? Yeah. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Right, so. Ah, yes. Yeah, Sharp Tooth was on drone control. There we go. I don't think we want to go in just yet. Yeah, let's wait for this character to move up. Well, she could open the door. No other characters could go in. Let's see what's in there. Oh! Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in. Right, let's get this guy. Although it's going to cost all of our movement points just to get around there. Right, IOT can go to here. Oops. <laughs> kind of being a bit slack here and lazy with my tactics <laughs> rushing in. Uh, so the combat drone is not going to be able to get in this turn. Oh, there was a thing there. Right, cross fingers, we don't get killed. These guys are big. These guys are pretty big and ugly. Right, okay, so. Me. Okay, so that, that hand that appeared here was only when the drone was active. So I think the drone could have gone through here. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, so we've only got two action points, and one's only going to get me to here, so I'm just going to have to move two and be another target for them. Right, okay, so our mage here is a bit wounded. Uh, we've got some spells. Let's do some spells. Killing hands. Unarmed damage increases. No, we don't need that. Light cover bonus to magic spells. No. Manifest, a powerful magical punch that ignores armor, but surely we've got to be next to them to do that. Okay, I think we're just going to stay here. Stay here in the cover. Shoot this guy. Okay, right. So, what's this guy going to do? He's going to do a kneecap. Yes! Got him in the kneecaps. And he's stunned. Nice. Okay. And then get back down under the cover. Um, right, so Coyote is going to do an aim shot at this one. Missed. And then a normal shot. I think Coyote is then going to also go behind cover herself. There you go. Right, and the drone. We're going to move one to there. And then we're going to shoot it. Got it. Only a little hit though. Right, Sharp Tooth's back on. And Sharp Tooth is going to do the full auto fire. Uses 10 bullets. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> I think reloading in this just takes time. I don't think you actually have 
ammunition as such. There you go. Right. Any more for any more? There is. Walked right into it. So Coyote is going to go to here and select this. Got him. Uh, combat drone is going to move up. And then Sharp Tooth is going to go here. The smell hits you like a fist. The tang of blood, the funk of animal, fowl, and something else. Something wrong. Okay. So, our mage, who's hiding in the corner, <clears throat> who's not doing very good. Again, I'm not playing these characters correctly. I'm just sort of, um, I'm just sort of shooting with them, and they've got all sorts of skills and abilities that I'm not really using. Right, this time... We're going to get set up, ready for going in. Yeah, see, see the drone can go in here and out here, which is quite cool. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, that's it. Let's just then turn. Right, okay. So Sharp Tooth is going to go in first. There we go. Right, so what's going on in here? Lots of bad guys. Uh, that would be a thing for a shaman to be able to summon something. We have Corporate Mage, Lone Star Guard. Okay, so maybe we should let them come to us. Or maybe we should do grenades. Have I actually got anything in the way of grenades? I do! Phosphorus Grenade. Pachette Grenade. Concussion Grenade. Yeah, it's not letting me select these. So, what other weapons have we got? I don't know, we've got Fist and we've got an FNHAR. Yes, grenades, yes. Um, yeah, so maybe, maybe I will. Although I've only got one point left. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna retreat and let them come to me. Let's see what happens. Oh, what was that on the wall? Oh, I could have done something there. Um, so this is a mage, we're gonna reload. And we're going to stand back to here. And we're going to do a spell. We're going to do... Um, yeah, unarmed damage. I, said, I think this is a mage that goes in and hits things. Yeah, so plus 10 damage whenever I do a punch. Right, so this character here, do we have a med kit? We do have a med kit. Going to recover 20 hit points. He's pretty badly wounded, so we'll do that. Uh, this isn't a good place for an ambush, to be honest. We do have Overwatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here. Okay, and go on Overwatch in that direction. Okay, so Coyote. Uh, can Coyote go on Overwatch as well? Maybe she can. So Coyote is going to go here and go on Overwatch that way. Right. And the drone. So yeah, I think the drone can just go in this room here. And I don't know what this room is really. But the drone has two action points. So the first action point can be to do that. Nope. And then the second one will be to uh, just come back here, I think. Okay, right. So let's see what this is on the wall. I'm jacking in. Okay. Uh, Kenneth is saying, looks like she's a monk. Right, okay, so close quarters combat. Yeah, using magic. Um, right, so can we jack in here? Maybe we shouldn't be doing this yet. Maybe we should be finishing the fight first and then we jack in afterwards.
Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Maybe let's jack in now and see what happens. Don't fully understand what's going on. Right, okay. So. Have we got a... Uh, yes, we have. How many hit points has she got? Right click. How do you get character information up? Is it in here? I think it's in here. So yeah, this is the character. So she's got 32 out of 60 hit points. So yeah, I can definitely uh, use the healing kit and it not be a waste. Okay. Um, so we've got super punchy fists. But actually, I think we're just going to... We're just going to wait. Here we go. Why didn't the Overwatch kick in then? <laughs> this is hilarious. You just ran in and ran out. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, this character is is hacked into the Matrix. Okay, well let's let's do this then. Can we hit anything from from all the way from here? Yep. Oh, there's another thingy. Oh, there's a few of them. Maybe we shouldn't be dragged in on our own. I don't really know. What's this? This is stuff that we would have brought with us. Uh, and I can't remember what this is. This is like an alert meter, I think. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing in here. <clears throat> this is a whole extra cool part of the game. I just don't fully understand this bit because it's been so long since I played. Yeah, it seems like we're spending a lot of multiple rounds in here. There we go. Right, meanwhile, back in the real world. Uh, it doesn't look like they've come for me. Which is a bit odd. So I think this mage is just going to go for a bit of a wander in. And see what's going on. Ah, corporate mage. Your morons just shot up a Renraku research lab. Ever hear of Renraku? Um... Ooh. You beat my price and you live. Oh, we could do that. Well, why don't we play nice? We're both just employees here. You walk away and I won't make you dead. Say that. I have a frigging herd of basilisks, idiot. You're going to need a lot more guys. Okay. Well, let's do the punchy punch. So, yeah, let's do this big punch. 10 damage, is that all? I thought I was doing 10 damage anyway. Um, yeah, I've got one left. I think I'm going to move back out. I don't really want to stay in there with all of those. Uh, again, we're going to do Overwatch again. And Coyote is going to do Overwatch. This is quite cool in a way, but we're... We're stood in this room doing Overwatch while Sharktooth is inside is, is jacking in. Where's he going? Just running around. Right, okay, so Sharktooth. Yeah, I don't really have any fancy tools here. All I've got is just this basic attack. Because I'm not really a decker. So yeah, there are better programs that you can get that will do more damage. That's alright. Uh, can we get rid of this one? Yes. And again. And... Yeah, we did have a program. Yeah, I thought we did. Right. So, we're gonna go up and punch it. Missed. And again. Missed. Rubbish. Can we do it again? Oh, we can do it again. Still missed. How rubbish is that? Right. Are we doing one shot on this? Yes. And then we're going to go into Overwatch, I think. Uh, Coyote, again, we're going to do one shot on this. Maybe make it another one. Got it. Right. That's the mage dead. And then we'll go into Overwatch on the door. 
Oh, gosh. Oh, right. He literally does have a basilisk. <laughs> when he said he had a basilisk, I, I thought he was referring to a, a name of the people in the room, not an actual basilisk. Right, so we can turn Matrix Turret Control. Ah, so what we've done is we've hacked in and we've turned on the, the turrets. Okay, which might be turrets in here. Oh, that'd be cool if that's the case. Right. Uh, let's have a look inside and see what's going on. Yeah, they're not coming out. Why are they not coming out? Okay, well, let's try the grenade thing. Is that going to get them both? I think it is. Missed. Yeah, rubbish. Oh, no, I still got them. Right, okay. And then... Now it's the mage. Uh, again, I kind of don't want to go in. I think I'll just, I'll just stay here. Because they're taking damage because they're on fire. Ah, there we go. So the turrets are now working. Hopefully they're working for me. Um. Oh, nice. And then let's just rush out. Uh, is the mage going to go in? No, I think the mage is going to... Can you can you reorder these? You can. Right, so I think we're going to go in. We'll have one shot. Oh, well, that was quite good. Um, and then go out again. Yeah, I think the mage is going to go in and have a little bit of a punchy punch. If there's anything left, I don't think there's anything left. See, I wonder if that turret is is actually uh, not going to hit me. <laughs> we will see. I send Coyote up. Right, that'll do. Okay, back to Sharp Tooth. So we kind of don't want to go all the way in. Where's my drone? Ah, the drone's not active anymore. Interesting. Yeah, so that auto turret there that we hacked. Yeah, if we can lure this basilisk in, the auto turret will take care of them. Um, let's put him there. And coyote go here. See if we can lure the bastard in. And then come back out again. Okay. End it there. Yeah, basilisk is coming in. Nice. Right, so Sharp Tooth is going to uh, run away. Seem to have lost the drone. So we're going to activate the drone, maybe when I jacked in. So the drone's going to come up to here. Right, so this is a combat mage, but we don't really want to go punchy-punchy with a basilisk. I think we're just going to go here for now. And... Maybe shoot it. Fancy shots has he got? Do that one. No, line of sight is blocked. Ah, rats. Oh yeah, because I'm hiding behind a big cover. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Do it. Ooh, minus two action points. Nice. And let's go and overwatch. So Coyote will have one shot. Might actually kill it. I think we've killed it. Okay, so all of this idea of running out and luring it in didn't actually need to do it. Okay, so Bertie's going to get all excited and rush in. Is there anything in there? I don't think there is. Oh no, there is. There's another battle list. Subject 2. Um, okay, maybe a similar plan? Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll just keep these characters. I mean, he doesn't really need cover. If the Basilisk is a is a melee creature, yeah, maybe they aren't so bad after all. <laughs> then we don't really need the cover. Come on, lure it out. Or not. And the drone. Send the drone in. Send in the drones. <clears throat> right. Yep, Basilisk is coming out. Hopefully it's not going to reach me. No. So Sharptooth is going to run away. Mage is going to just do Overwatch. Levi's just going to do Overwatch. Coyote is going to run away to here and do Overwatch. And the drone is going to go to here and have a shot. Okay. Come on, auto turret. Yay! It worked. <laughs> right, combat is over. So there we go. And this is the side job, isn't it? Yes. So we're now out of combat. Our characters have healed uh, the last wound that they took. And here is Sada. The scientist looks absolutely bewildered. Who are you? Wh why are you doing this? I'll say, are you Sada? What if I say no? <laughs> then you'll end up like them. Then, yes, yes, I am Sada. Wait, you're from As Technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. Um, think of this as a signing bonus. So that's it. You're just going to hand me over to them. Jesus, these people. Listen to me, whoever you are. I know I'm a wage slave. I get it. But I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you're doing is transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be an employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about it? Um, yeah, say that. How much are they paying you? We could lie and say 15,000 yen. Yeah, let's do it. I can't beat that. Rinraku froze all my personal funds while I'm here for security. All I have on me is 5,000 yen. Let me go and it's yours. Uh, no. no. Job's a job. We need 9,000 yen. Right, so the Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. Uh, ah, we've had that before. Yes, basically that was a side quest, I think, and we're back at the Union. Okay, I like the idea that you could jack in to um, activate the auto turret. It's, it's nice, this, and I've said this on previous streams, is that although it's a linear storyline, within each particular bit of it, there are multiple things that you can do. Right, so I think we're going to go downstairs and do the other job. Is that right? Let's have a look at the quests. Yeah, talk to uh, Mr. Delilah to hire runners. So yeah, that was just that was just a side quest. So off we go. Hopefully we've got our 9,000 new yen. Where did we get that job, actually? Let's just check the money situation. No, we've only got 3,000, so we haven't got that job. Where did we get that job from? It was somebody up here, wasn't it? Uh, was it Mr. Johnson? Yes. Uh, they had basilisks, a whole herd of them. Pay data. Oh, okay. That was something else we could have done. So what? Sounds like you took care of it. Here's a cred stick. You'll find the appropriate compensation is all there. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Right, nice. So, let's go back downstairs, play the notes on the piano. Blinky blink. And let's do this next room. Busy night. So, Dodger. This is the one that they said. This is a, a decker. That's gonna be that's gonna be useful for us. We're gonna take Coyote just because we like her. And I think I'm going to take uh, this guy again because he was he was pretty good. 
Was it him that we had? He's got a katana there. Was it? Was that the guy? Should we get more programs? Yeah, we should probably get more programs. Um, if we're going to be hacking into the network, you are probably right. So let's have that one. Um, ah, so this is where the characters are. Yeah, this is where you can see how good they are. So Kaiji's okay, got 70 hit points. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not going to think too much about it. Okay, so we're going to confirm that. No, no, no. No, we're not going to confirm that. We're going to go and buy some more programs. So where were the programs? They were, I believe, David Fry second? Is it him? I need some new gear. Yeah. So yeah, so these are, these are the programs that we can buy, and we have loads of money. So Cyberdex, we can't really buy a better one than we've got. No. No, that's the one we can currently have. Oh gosh. There's so, so much choice here. There's a whole other part of the game that I've not really done. Um, but we could go with Blaster Level 3. I mean, I don't know how many programs we can have. Programs 4. ESPs 2. So we can have four programs. We can have that one. Um, who was the Decker guy? The Decker guy was Dodger, who we have. Um, the Attacker ESP. So that's a consumable. Execute Attacker ESP. Okay, let's go for that. Don't quite know what that is, but let's, let's go for that. Uh, let's go for Medic. And that'll do. Right, I bought some programs. And we'll see what happens. Right, so we're going back here. And we're now putting the team together. Right, so it was Dodger. We're going to go with Dodger, Coyote, and we're going to go with uh, Ray Quandry. Okay, off we go then. How are we doing for time today? Uh, I've hidden my taskbar, so I don't know. 11.56, so 12 o'clock. What time did I start? 11. So yeah, we're doing okay for, ta for time. Um, yeah, while we're here, just before I read this bit, uh, a big shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. This month, I've basically taken off uh, doing any commission stream. So all of the videos that I'm doing this month are purely supported through the Patreon campaign. So a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this possible. If you like the content that I make, uh, please consider supporting me and helping fund the channel. And all of the ad revenue this month, including any super chats that anybody wants to send, um, are, are being donated to charity. And it's the Macmillan Cancer uh, charity that we're giving money to this month. Right. Telestrian Industries. The sleek contour of the Telestrian Industries building slices through the Seattle skyline, gracefully arcing towards the south, towards its birthplace in the elven nation of Tia Tergira. Tergira. Right. You stand at the lobby entrance waiting for Samedi's go signal. Uh, the moment extends. Stepping over a corp threshold is a little like stepping into a foreign country or over a line. Corporations have power so far above the average citizen that assaulting one seems insane, like threatening the gods of Olympus. Extra space there that shouldn't be in there. Land owned by a, multi uh, land owned by a multinational is corporate soil, except for domestic law, exempt from domestic laws. Their employees aren't state citizens, they're corporate citizens, and their top execs can't be brought to trial for some alleged crime. The runner who goes full frontal on a corp is making a statement, making a name. Three chirps on your comlink, it's go time. Um, Kazimi says, don't forget to equip them before you jack in. Thank you. I will forget. Right, or is that here? This is here, isn't it? Right, so we need to equip... Uh, let's have another basic med kit. So this is in stash. How do we equip them? So this is Dodger. Yeah, I'm not sure how we equip programs. Because this is physical items. This is my weapons.
So I don't know how we actually equip them. You don't have to equip them yet. Right, okay. Cool. Right, here we go then. Uh, we have karma to spend. How much karma have we got? We've got eight. What can we do with eight karma? Um, we could increase our decking. We could increase it, but I'm kind of more... I've got a bit of decking, but we've got more... More in the way of drone control. Six is the maximum for trolls. Drone combat, willpower, chance to hit with magical attack. See, we're not doing anything with this. Conjuring spells, we're not doing anything with that. So, we, do, you know, there's a lot of this stuff that you just don't need. Strength, we're not doing any um, melee weapons or throwing weapons. We are doing a little bit of that, but... And we're not really getting hit much with physical attacks. So I'm, I'm pretty much focusing on just increasing the things that I need. I guess I could increase my body. It gives it gives me more um, more hit points. Right. Baron Samedi. Your comlink chirps and the face of Baron Samedi fills the screen. Together again, eh, mon ami? You and Samedi shall do great things this night. Great things. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, we're going to shake the pillars of heaven. Yeah. Sarcasm should have no place between partners, eh? Let us be professional. <laughs> the way you professionally hacked my comlink. Point taken. Sivo play, but we must be friends. We are allied, you and Samedi. These things are easily overcome, be assured. As you were told, there are some tasks that only you can do from inside the building, just as there are some that Samedi must do from his remote location. We must coordinate our actions, that is all. Boldness and a clear head will win the day. Storming the front desk doesn't sound bold, it sounds insane. Do not be so negative. Samedi has rerouted the guards in this section of the complex. The coast should be clear for you to navigate to the accounting offices. Bon chance. Bon chance. So, we have find the Aegis sample and have at least one runner able to deck until you have the information you need. Well, I've got two runners able to deck. So we should be okay. Right, so this is reception of the corporate offices. There's nothing around here to click on other than the door. So let's click on the door. Aha! Halt! This is a restricted area. Right, and we are in combat straight away. Sound the alarm. Right, we are going to turn the drone on. Didn't mean to get shot at. Um, and then we're going to go in here. Missed. Brilliant. Good start. Um... Switch to weapon and shoot. And then do a dead eye shot. Okay. Well, it hit him. Right, now Dodger has really only got. Yeah, bullets in a fist. This isn't really a character who's going to be uh, doing that much fighting. Where can we jack in? We can't jack in anywhere in here yet. No. I think I'm just going to go into here. Oh, got him. Got him in the back. Right, so Coyote. Um, 42% chance to hit. No, I think we'll go... We'll go here. It's good having three action points. <coughs> it did increase to three a couple of sessions ago. Um, before that, yeah, we were just on, on one. I thought he had a Katana. He does. Right, go in with a Katana. Slice, miss. Brilliant. And again... <laughs> so much for the skilled samurais. Um, yeah, I think it's just going to be single shots. Uh, I'm going to do katana guy first. We've got, yeah, let's do that one. No, he's rubbish. Who is this guy? <laughs> That's five hits and he just can't hit anything. 
Hey, finally he does seven damage. Is that all? This guy was really expensive as well. There we go. There you go. Coyote for the win. Right, okay. So the combat drone can move around here. Ah, got a walkie-talkie keypad thing. He's got a long-range gun. Yeah, I know, but he's got a katana. I want him to go in and start doing stuff. Uh, where's Dodger going to go? Go here. Right, Coyote's going to pick up this. Which we will then use on there, and that's going to open the doors. I guess? Yes. The key card slides into the terminal and the screen comes to life. Priority alert. Intrusion detected. All elevators locked down. Security response. Oscar 6. Notice. Terminal 6J4 accounting is unsecured. Notify the user to secure the terminal at once. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Right, okay. Apparently the coast was not so clear. Uh, apparently not. Uh, do not doubt Samedi. The Aegis sample will be hours before the night is through. There was reorganisation in Telestrian recently. They have a new Vice President of Security and he is making changes to their standard procedures. It is nothing Samedi cannot handle. Now, on to the accounting offices. We go then. Right. So I don't think we're going to open the door just yet. We're going to get ready. Uh, come on, Ray. With your sword. Can't hit a coconut. Right. Oh, we're going to open the door. I think we will. Okay. Do we want to go through? We don't really want Dodger to go through. Let's send um, Katana Guy through first. Nobody here. Go here and get ready for next time. Okay. Oh, I forgot to move the drone. Let's open the door. Right. Looks like the accounting offices. There's a place there that we can hack into. Can't see any bad guys. Let's send Dodger in and hide behind the table. Aha! Corporate mage. Ooh, big guy. Very big guy. Right, lots of them. So Dodger is going to uh, get behind cover. Now Dodger has some things. Let's do a mark target. Let's mark this guy. All oh, right, that's cool. Um, right. And then I guess we can shoot him since we've got an action point there. Right, okay, so Coyote. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use her gun. Go in here, hide behind that. Shoot this one. And... Do that one. Nice. Okay. Ray. Now, uh, what's Ray gonna do? <laughs> Is he gonna stick with his sword? Or are we gonna shoot something? Let's shoot something. Okay, that's well, one down. And the drone, unfortunately, I forgot to move the drone, so a bit behind. Okay, combat mage. Missed. Good. What's he doing now? Okay, he's giving plus 15% aim accuracy to this one. I think we might leave the big guy. Uh, and just go for... This one. They're not packed in tightly enough for a grenade, I think, to be useful. So Dodger is going to... Yeah, so we're going to mark this target. 
and then we'll have a couple of little shots at him. Nice. Then Coyote's gonna... Uh, yeah, do that. Okay. Right, that's another one down. Uh, and then Coyote's gonna move up to here. Okay, Ray. Um, I think we need to go around and get rid of this guy. So yeah, we're going to move in. And then we're going to switch to the katana and we'll have a go. Of course we missed. <laughs> of course. Right, and the combat drone is going to just go to here. Ready for next time. Oh, and again, the combat drone can go... Yeah, the combat drone could have gone in here. Where where that goes, I don't know, but we might try that just for a bit of a laugh. Um, <clears throat> okay, shall we get rid of this? Well, let's do Dodger first. And let's put the mark target. And let's mark the Lone Star Mage as a target. Um, and then we will use uh, Ray with his katana. And we're going to do that one. Finally, we've hit. Yay. That's better. Right, okay. So we've knocked three action points off this guy. But he's not going to be able to do anything in the next round, I don't think. So in this case, we will choose to... Lots of bullets at that. Okay, one hit. Oh, Loki's decided to join me. Hi, Loki. Yeah. Nice. Big guy's down. Oops. Oops. We just shot Ray for, like, loads and loads of damage. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Ray. Yeah, so Ray's really badly wounded now. Oops. Okay, so Dodger can go in here. Uh, counting, yeah, so counting division, central billing one. Yeah, friendly fire, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to search for Project Aegis. Project terminated five days ago. Final invoices submitted to Seda Krupp. Yeah, big long German word. Um, okay. Logging off. So, very little. The Baron appears on your comlink. So it appears that James... So, it appears that James has been making moves to secure his information. Not the actions of a man who has nothing to hide, eh? We need to get upstairs to office. To office and deck. To office? to his office, I guess, and deck into his personal system. Uh, from here, it looks like the elevators are on lockdown. You will need to find an access point to deck in so we can continue. Okay. Now, there was an access point around here, isn't there? Oh, there's a few, actually. Let's do Coyote first. Let's look at this one. Uh, is this just the same? No, HR Communications. So, search for Lynn Telestrian. Interlestrians have been terminated. Universal Brotherhood. Record not found. Yeah, okay. There's not a lot of information in here, is there? Uh, and search for this. Search for Sam Watts. Record not found. Secondary hits on Sam Watts. Melinda Watts. Billing system. Right. Jessica Watts. Record not found. So they're, they're clearing everything down, aren't they? Uh, a yellow, slip of yellow paper slides from another keyboard. Frederick, I must have told you a hundred times the door code is 1915. I don't know why that's so hard to remember. Okay, handy. I gained eight karma. And the door is now open. So, off we go then. Now we do need to get... We do need to get Ray healed. 
That was his punishment for hitting people with his sword. Um, but no, we do need to heal Ray. Why can't we heal Ray? Ah, oh, because I'm not next to him. Oh, and what's Ray got? Ray's just got smoke grenades, smoke grenades, smoke grenades. Right. You're rubbish, Ray. Uh, although I'm not going to force you to open the door just yet. No, let's bring the drone in. Oh, I was going to send the drone here. There you go. The drone can go here. Yeah, let's go round. Um, right, has Sharptooth got some medicine? Yes. Okay, well that's heal ray for a bit. Um, I think Dodger's going to heal ray as well. Yeah, that's more like it. So Dodger's going to open the door. See what we've got here. Oh, that looks like auto turrets. Now, they're quite nasty. There's got to be a way we can hack into them. Yeah, I don't really want to go in here. So Coyote can... Let's rush in and try and go through here. Yeah, see if we can go round them. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Anything to hack in in this office? No, but there is a door over here. Do love the graphics in this game. Really nice. Yeah, drone from behind the turrets. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, okay, so the drone. Yeah, let's send the drone on a scouting mission, see what we find. Okay, so we're now in here. Oh, hello. And we're getting shot at a lot. Right, I think it might be grenade time for these two. Um, but I think I'm going to go... Should we do the grenade first? Let's use the frag grenade. Oh, no, I can't. Can't throw the frag grenade. Don't have line of sight. Right, so we're going to go to here. And then throw the grenade. No, now I can't throw the grenade. Oh, it costs two action points to throw a grenade. Right, I'm just going to go to here. Uh, Dodger has got three action points and he's going to run in here. Run away. Right, okay, so Coyote's going to open the door. Here we go, we can hack into there. Nice. Okay, so what we need to do is hide behind here and wait for these to come in. Uh, Ray's going to probably do the same. Go here, switch to the gun, reload the gun, and then go in Overwatch from here. Drone is going to go over to here. See where the drone's going to go. Oi! Oh! Ah! That's not part of the plan. Right, okay. Now it's going to have to be grenade time. Nice. Except that used all of my action points. So... We were going to send Dodger in there to go and start hacking into this, but actually there are... There are things in here that we're going to need to sort out first. So I think we're going to have to sort these out. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Right, so Coyote. Um, what's this guy got? Big gun. Let's do that one. Nice. Critical. 30 damage. Um... Right, excellent. It's one down. We're then going to reload. Okay, meanwhile, Ray. Can we hit this guy? 40% chance. I think Ray's going to switch to his sword. Go on, Ray. <laughs> of course. 
Either there's some bug in the game, or I'm just absolutely terrible with this sword. Right, okay, so. Nice. It sneaked around the back. Now, is the drone going to get shot out from there? Can these things turn all the way round? That is the question. Um, but let's send the drone over here, just in case. Okay. Sharp Tooth is getting shot out a lot. It's a good job I increased that. That body for extra hit points. Hey, oh, is that my drone? Is that somebody else? That's somebody else's drone. Somebody else has got a combat drone. Oh no. Right, so we're going to heal. Uh, and then we're going to run away. Right, Dodger. Not really that good, is he? Gonna have a couple of shots of that one. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Do that and then go in here. And yeah, let's let's hack in. Right, okay, so suddenly we've got all of these programs. Now these programs are all they're already loaded. Yeah, they're in there already. So, excellent. It's a bit late now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit late, but, you know, that's okay. Right, all done. Uh, Ray with his sword. I think he's going to come in here. Was there anything left? I'm not sure there was. Yeah, so I think we'll leave this here. Is, is that that's the way out, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the way out. Um, right, there is one guy left. He just rushes in past us all. Oh no, the two guys. Oh yeah, there's this woman here with a drone. Right, okay, so Dodger is inside the Matrix. Ooh, nasty. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to create our ESP program. There we go. That's going to fight for us. And then we're going to use um, Blaster Level 2. I thought we had Blaster Level 3. Yeah, I was pretty sure I'd got Blaster Level 3. Okay, I'm going to put that on. Don't really know what that does. All incoming damage at plus 75. Okay, and then we're going to... Ah, missed. These look like radiators. <laughs> right, lots of nasties. Okay, so that's that gone. Um. Nice. Can we do that again? No, there's a cooldown on it. I was going to do a firewall there. I changed my mind. Uh, don't need to do medic. Reduces alarm state by four. Let's do that. Oh no, I can't. It costs three three action points. Let's put that on. Okay. Yeah, that's that one gone. Thankfully, they're not much of a good hit as well. Right, so Sharp Tooth is wounded. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this rigor. Uh, 
Out of ammo. Right, got to reload. Uh, so Ray's got sword. Gonna hit the rigger. No. I mean, it says chance to hit 57%. Not much, is it? Well, surely at 57%, I should be hitting more, more than I am. Uh, so, what do we want to do with the combat drone? I guess we send it in. Missed. Ow! Right, okay, so we are here. Let's do this reducing the, the alarm state by four. That's going to drop that down. Oh. Does the ESP have special attacks? I, I'm not sure. How does this work? How does this reducing the alarm state by four? Maybe you need to do it on yourself? Yes. Have a look. Yes, it does. It has bomb. Explode self. We don't want to do that, do we? Right, okay. So it does have special attacks. It can it can blow itself up. Uh, we could just keep reducing the alarm state. Oh no, that's got a cooldown. Uh, we don't need to heal, do we? No, I don't think we need to heal yet. Now, I don't know whether these ESPs can go through to the next area or not. Be good if they could. Turret control node, right, that's where we need to control the turrets from. So let's deal with these first. Can we get through? Yes, we can get through. Nice. Right, so Sharp Tooth is going to do this one, and again, there you go. Right, so that's that sorted, and that's that sorted. Nice. So we're all done, all of the bad guys are gone, we've just got the turrets to worry about. And I think if we just line up here ready for Dodger to finish hacking the turrets, then we'll be okay. Yep. Oh, that was another door opened. Uh, right, so we'll do the exploder program first. That sorted. And then Dodger. We'll actually just go over here and start hacking this. There's nothing for me to click on. Okay, we don't know. Ow! 75 IP damage. Right, well we can heal that. Can't hack till all defeated. Right, thank you very much. I was going to say something's not quite right on there. Let's switch to the, um, the ESP program. There you go. Right, and now we can hack. Okay, that's good. So turret control node 2 is down. There's still other places we can go. Let's go over to this one. Can't quite get there this turn. Right, both turret control nodes are down. What's through here? Anything through here? This looks like a, a side room. Uh, meanwhile, back in the real world.
Oh, yeah, there's more guys. So we can go into Overwatch. Uh, change to a gun. Also going to Overwatch. Uh, the drone cannot go into Overwatch, but we're going to send the drone in here. And I'm hopefully these turrets will turn on. But maybe not so much. Okay. So yeah, is there anything in here? Ah! Oh! Yes, there is. There's a big thing. Hit points 250. Okay. So, do we need help? I think we possibly need help. But it was just going to be a side room. <laughs> well, it is a side room, but I thought it might have just been like a closet or something. 16 host damage. Oh, that's not good. So it actually does damage to me as a host. Yeah, black IC will cause physical damage. Right, okay, thank you. So we are going to have to put the degrade on it. Missed. Rats. And then run away. And keep running away. Right. But we'll send this in. Right, here he comes. Oh, it's coming for me. Right, okay, so we're going to... So no, that, that's healing of IP. We don't need any IP. We can reduce the alarm state again. Detonate the ESP. I think we'll be alright. If I can put degrade on it... Okay, and then... Hit it for a bit. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Sorted. But the ESP came in and was not needed in the end. Oh, there's a way out. Go back. Okay, so the turrets are working for me now, which is which is good. Shoot this guy in the back. <clears throat> not enough ammo. We need to reload. Click, click. Right. Come on, sword man. Yay! Finally. Right, okay, so uh, we are going to be hacking into the patient's database. I think. Yeah. Pay data downloaded. Looks like some data on some new biotech genome research worth some new end. Right, okay, so basically, yeah, it's it's just a little side extra that got some extra bonuses. Okay, now where's that taking me? Okay, so I think we're going to go here. Hopefully this is all going to line up. Oh, how many things? Okay, let's go and retreat into a corner. <laughs> and let's just shoot this one quickly. Right, so we need help. Oh, right. Can this hack in? Oh, it can. Right, nice. James, your proposed agreement with Melinda Watts will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance, but it is not without risk. As you know, the generation skipping trust established by your grandfather calls for the oldest living, is uh, living issue to be the trust manager and beneficiary. While Miss Watts has agreed to modify her children's birth certificate from unknown to Telestrian employee Nathan Miles, if the children ever discover that they share a father with you, they could make a claim on the trust based upon DNA evidence. Right. So... The elevator control node. We, we need to sort that out, don't we? I need to get in there. Now, I wonder if... I think Sharp Tooth can probably uh, jack in as well. So, yeah, I thought there was going to be a way through there, but there's not. We need to get from there to there. 
It's a bit of a maze. Right, so Sharptooth is going to go over here and jack in. Can we do that? Can you have two characters jacked in on the same place? Don't think you can. Okay. There you go. Well, that's all the bad guys gone. But more might still keep coming out. Which may be what the elevator control is. I'm not sure. Who's this guy? Oh, this is, um... This is, what's his name? This is Ray. Ray's not looking good. Let's reduce the alarm status. Oh, the on-screen chat has died. Thank you very much for letting me know. I can fix that. There you go. Right, okay, so, um, the ESP needs to go in here. God, it's slow. Yeah, I think we might need to, uh, get out of there and heal myself. There you go. It's more like it. I'll go back in in a minute. Once I've got help from my buddy. In fact, if I just rush ahead to the elevator control. <laughs> yeah. The Dodger's going to rush ahead to the elevator control. Uh, and meanwhile, the ESP is going to come in and explode itself. That's the plan. Oi! Leave me alone. Right, so yeah, Sharptooth can't... Can't jack in. Right, okay. So we'll just reload and we'll just stay on guard there. Uh, can we do anything about... Uh, Ray being like all wounded and stuff. I think he's going to die in two turns time. So I think we need to get to him and heal him. How do you heal a character that's dying? I'm not sure why it's not letting me apply this healing. Yeah, I don't know. Combat drone can definitely can't do anything to help him. Right, so... How's the threat looking? The threat's looking okay. We'll do the ESP first. We're going to move to here. And then we're going to explode ourselves. Nice. It is an exploder program. Okay. So they're all burning. They're all taking more damage. Okay, all done, which means I can now go into here and access the elevator control mode. Right, so we have hacked the elevator. Right, I'm going to have to come all the way out. So yeah, so why, why can't Sharptooth... Sharptooth can't administer the healing because Sharptooth hasn't got a healing kit. 
but I don't know why Coyote couldn't heal. This, this is weird. I mean, I, I don't know what you do with a dying character. Let me just have a quick look at the help, because there is help included in the game. Here we go. Um, combat. Combat 2. Where would it be? Basics? Probably not. Is he dead and we re will respawn? I don't think so. I think he's... It sounded like that that, that countdown was like, oh no, it, it's going to die in a few turns' time. Kenna says, think I might need a trauma kit. Ah, yeah, we don't have a trauma kit. Okay, so... Looks like somebody's going to die. Okay, right. Um, so yeah, Coyote can exit from the scene. Sharp tooth. And the drone, the drone can't exit from the scene now. Right, the Dodger's going to come out. That threat is going up slowly. There you go. Yeah, unfortunately, Ray died. Sad times. And that is it. We are out. Oof. That was quite tough. Right, executive actions. Crowding into a corporate elevator on a shadow run is risky. You're exposed, vulnerable. Time is of the essence. The CEO's office is 50 floors up and the Baron has your back, in theory. Light, blanderized music flows softly from hidden speakers as you make your way up to James Telestrian's office and towards your objective. Simple, a sample of Project Aegis. You need to find the sample and get out of here before the Baron loses control of the Telestrian mainframe and all hell breaks loose. Right, let's just do a time check on how we're doing today. 12.41, so I'm going to end this for now. Today, this is this is where we are. We have lost a character, but it was a character that couldn't hit anything anyway. So, hopefully, we will be okay. We have some karma to spend. We've still got loads more to do. This is definitely nearing the end of, of the game, so we're going to save for now. Uh, and yeah, that's where we are. I will have a look online at a walkthrough site just after this, just to see how, how close we are to the end. But. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, if you're watching this live and you've kept me company, thank you very much. And hello to everybody who's watching afterwards. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier on, all of this month's live streams are purely funded through the Patreon campaign. So yeah, basically taking the month off from paid work to produce all of these streams for you to watch and, and join in. I will be back later on today just to give you a quick idea. Obviously, this, this is more if you're watching this live uh, than if you are watching this afterwards. But... I'm just going to open up something on screen to show you what I've got planned for the rest of this week. Right, so here are the plans for this week. Uh, we are currently Tuesday morning, Shadowrun Returns. That's just finished. Uh, at 2 o'clock today, I will be back with Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth. I'm going to be setting that up now, just before I have lunch. Uh, that is going to be at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I'm going to be doing two scenarios of that. Uh, so that's going to be about three hours. Uh, tomorrow, Infinity uh, Box for Anachrony unboxing at 5 o'clock, Cloud Age at 7 o'clock. More Shadow Room returns on Thursday, if you're interested in, in watching this, which hopefully is going to be the last one. Um, yeah, hopefully, we'll, we will see. Maracaibo in the afternoon, uh, and then Too Many Bones live playthrough on Friday night. But yes, that's everything for now. Um, now yesterday, when I enabled the end credits, the software crashed. We'll see what happens today. We'll see if it does. If not... Enjoy the end credits. If it does, the stream will quickly terminate. But I'll be back 2 o'clock in a couple of hours. I will see you all then.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.